All right, so let's see how strong you are in basic math. Because if you are strong in basic math, solving this problem without a calculator should be very easy. So the question is 12 divided by 2 times 6. Now, once again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. But you can kind of see here by the title of this video, what is going to be your first step? Because we can only do two things here, right? So we can either multiply first or we can do uh, division first, right? So what should we do? So put in your answer into the comment section and uh, tell me what your first step was and why you took it. Okay, so 12 divided by 2 times 6, what is the correct solution? Well, the right answer is 36. Now, if you got that right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. You'd be like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I must be very bad in math because I couldn't even solve this simple, uh, you know, math problem. Well, don't feel too bad because a lot of people um, are going to be confused on whether you should do multiplication or division in a problem like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so as I indicated, the correct uh, way to do this problem was to start with uh, the division. But why? Why not the multiplication? I mean, this seems like it's a pretty good option as well. Well, there is a specific reason why we have to start with division, and I'm going to explain that right now. So in mathematics, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even powers, these are called mathematical operations. And when you have a problem with different mathematical operations like division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, we have to do the problem in the right order or we will get uh, different results. Of course, only uh, there's only one correct order and that order is described to us by this checklist right here and this is called PEMDAS, right? So this is effectively our checklist to take the correct order when we have um, a math problem with multiple mathematical operations. Okay, so this is again called PEMDAS. It is a phrase. This thing's been around forever. Matter of fact, let me give you a little memory aid here. It is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Once again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And this is the secret to understanding the order of operations. In other words, what is the correct order? Now, these letters obviously stand for something, and this is a checklist that goes from left to right. Okay, so let me go and explain this now. So P stands for parentheses. So if we have parentheses in a math problem, let's suppose I have parentheses right here, you would start uh, by doing all the math inside of those parentheses. Now, of course, this problem does not have parentheses, so you know this step, you know, we pretty much kind of skip. But this is what this P stands for. It's parentheses. Really, technically, it's grouping symbols, so brackets like this and these type of brackets as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. E is powers. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, why are you saying it's power? This starts with the E. Why don't you put a P there? Because if that's powers, well, really, if we have like two to the third power, this three up here is what we call the exponent, and this two down here is called the base. The entire thing is called a power, so E really stands for exponents, but uh, you can kind of think of that step as powers. Now, of course, our problem, we don't have any power, so we, you know, these two steps right here don't apply. Okay, so let's talk about these last steps, and this is where uh, most of the confusion comes in, in terms of the order of operations. So M, D, A, and S. M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, most of you might be saying, well, it seems to me if this is a checklist and it's going from left to right, we're just kind of going through this checklist, uh, the next thing on our checklist would be multiplication. So a lot of you are probably screaming at the video right now, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, look, even your own checklist says do multiplication first, so why did you do a division? Well, I'm going to explain this right now because, again, this is probably, what I'm showing you right here is probably the number one common error when it comes to the order of operations because this M and D is not strictly always, always multiplication, then division. It's multiplication or division. Okay, this is the way this works. I know it's a little bit confusing. That's why I'm making this video to explain this. So it's multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So in other words, if I have multiplication, then division, I'm going to do it this way, okay, because I see multiplication first from left to right. But if I have division, then multiplication, 
I'm going to do it this way because I see division first from left to right. And of course, this is our situation. I see division first from left to right. So this is why we're going to take this step first. Okay, so 12 uh, divided by 2, of course, will be what? Well, the answer is going to be 6. All right, so 12 divided by 2 is going to be 6. And then, of course, we'll walk through the rest of the steps. And uh, let's go ahead and take this step, which is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, what stopped this lovely math video if it wasn't that important? I mean, this is a great way to show support for what I do. But really, my whole mission with this channel, and I've been making uh, math videos on YouTube well over 10 years. I have uh, over 2,000 plus math videos from basic math to advanced math. My objective is to help those that need assistance in math. Okay, I'm really trying to stop people from ever giving up on mathematics. This is a big, big crisis. And, you know, I've been teaching math again for decades, and I want to share all my knowledge and experience with those people that can benefit from it. So by you subscribing, it does help that YouTube algorithm push out that content to as many people that need assistance. And also, too, when you subscribe, I kind of look at you as a new math student in my virtual classroom. And if you are going to subscribe, might as well hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up because this is now pretty easy. So now that we know uh, that we have to do division first and not multiplication, this is just 12 divided by 2, which of course is 6. And then we're going to finish up with the multiplication because that's the only thing we have left to do. So 6 times 6, of course, is 36. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.